Hey, the Daily Purge. How you doing today? Monday already. That weekend went quick, didn't it? <laughs> I guess weekends always go quick. Most of the time, anyway. At least it did in my case. I had a good one. Um, didn't do much. Hung out. Hung out with the kids. Hung out with the wife. And had a pretty good time. I hope you have one, too. But today, I want to talk about the lost art of getting your point across. You know, you, you hear a lot, especially with apps like Clubhouse and all the lives that people do in the world. <clears throat> you hear a lot of... Um, talking and there's some some hosts i guess you could call them uh and on the on the web or even on tv that man they just never get around to the point it makes you wonder like okay uh what's what is the point right hey what's up olga good morning hope you're doing well and it's funny because there is a very simple way to present the information that you want to present there's a simple way to get your point across there's a simple way to ensure that people walk away with value because in the end, why are you talking otherwise, right? Why are you presenting things otherwise if you're not there to add value? It makes you sort of makes you wonder sometimes, doesn't it? So, you know, just when, when, when I speak, I try to not use filler words. I try not to sort of talk around the subject instead of speaking about the subject. And I try to deliver action steps or deliverables, right? So I recap. So basically what you do, if you're going to go into a keynote and a lot of people who do lives treat it like a keynote, you're going to say, hey, I hope, hope you're doing fine today. This is what we're going to talk about today. This is what you're going to walk away with, right? Hey, thanks, Michael. This is what you're going to walk away with, right? And then you present them with three, six, or nine subject points. Um, the, the human brain remembers in groups of three. So you know, here's three points that will take you from A to Z. Here's nine points that will take you from A to Z. Here's six points that will take you from there to there. I'm not a big fan of the six, ten, or whatever, but I am a fan of being concise, direct, forward, and and straight, right? <clears throat> and then you recap. So we talked about this, this, that, and that. You go out, you do this, this, and that, that right now, and you're good to go. And you you can use that in all aspects of life. You know, some people say that sometimes I should be more cordial or I should be more um, fluffy, I guess you could say. Um, and uh, no, <laughs> one thing I can't say, there's a guy on Facebook who I like his content, but the first five minutes of his content is him rambling on about God knows what. And if you look at the comments, you'll see literally 10, 20% of the comments are like, Hey, get to the point, get to the point, get to the point, get to the point. And there's a reason for that. Cause now tell them what you're going to tell them and then tell them what you, what you told them exactly. Right. And then move the F on, right. Move out. Done. The thing is this, you get bombarded every single day with 3000 ads or, colors or whatever it is, like impressions of ads, whether it's online or offline, you're about 3000 a day per person. Is, I heard that somewhere. That's a lot. So how, how are you going to get their attention? You get their attention by like, Hey everybody, how you doing today? Hope you're doing fantastic. I was doing this and I was doing that. Me, 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 I, 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 that's not going to get you much. You know, unfortunately there are influencers out there that talk like that. And because of the, the, um, I want to be rich, uh, sort of attitude we have in our world right now and without working for it, a lot of people are following it. But if you're in my genre, genre, <laughs> sorry, if you're in my genre where you talk to established business owners, established business people, or people that are about to be established or working towards being established in their businesses, then you want to deliver palatable information that's useful and you want to be able to deliver something that they can walk away with and use themselves. For instance, I just said, you can use three, six, or nine points to deliver a message because the human brain thinks in groups of three. That's just a little tip that I can give you. So the next time you can give it a shot, next time you have a business meeting or you're speaking to somebody or you're even at the car repair shop, what is that called? Garage. <laughs> you're at the car repair shop. You're talking to the repair, man, repair guys, right? You can say, look, this is what I'm expecting, this, this, and that. Okay, so when I come back, can we have a, a review that you did all those? Let me see the paperwork, and then we can move from there. They're going to be like, whoa, okay, wow, that's crazy, amazing. Uh, I share too much background. Joe, no, it's, it's about being concise. Like, what, what, and what I say is what I am saying contributing to the delivery or the, the tools that I want to deliver, right? Sometimes you need to teach the issue, then make your point. Like, yes, and of course, teaching, I'm not talking about teaching. Of course, you got to teach. I'm talking about rambling, right? So someone who just rambles on, like, I got to tell you, you know, and, and you know, one of those, all this kind of stuff. Obviously, I'm not talking about that. But even then, when you're teaching, sometimes um, there's a way to teach, right? If you're in school, there's a way to teach when you're on video. There's a way to teach when you're in person. And they're different, right? They're all different, uh, especially on social media where the, uh, the average att attention span is like 1.2 seconds or whatever it is, right? Where people is like, is it interesting? Yes, no, okay, bye, next. 
go the next, go the next, and then it'll go the next. And then you have a cat video and people just sit and watch that. See what I'm saying? So there's a way to, you know, when, when you're looking at the ad space in Facebook, they talk about disruption. Like how, how do I disrupt your view? If you're scrolling, what can I put there to disrupt the scroll? So you go, whoa, what was that? Right. That's why sometimes you see titles that have nothing to do at all with the video. So that's a way, that's a trick. The big one for a while was the red circle. You just see a red circle around something at the top of a video and you're like, what is that? And you push play and it has nothing to do with anything in the video at all. It's just a red circle to get your attention. Right? Cat video, exactly. <laughs> all right. Just just stop it in. So remember, groups of three, get your point across, deliver. So you start out with, this is what you're going to get. Tell them, tell them what it is and recap. This is what you got. And then action steps. Go out and make it happen. Give it a shot. Go to your grocer. Go to your husband or your wife, go to your boss or one of your employees and use the three, the three point aspect and see how well it works. And you will hone your language. You will not say, uh, mm, well, um, yeah. Um, mm, uh, you when you hear people speak all the time, uh, mm, uh, uh, drives me nuts. Just say what you're going to say, get it out, move on. <laughs> my personal opinion. You might, you might think differently. You might like it differently. That's just my personal opinion. And I've had much success with that over the years. Uh, loving videos in your lane. Thank you, Olga, so much. I'm tired of being disrupted. I want to be respectfully spoken to. Michael, I love it. And, and, and see, that's, you know what I mean? And that's more and more the demographic. You know, if you look at Facebook, the average age is like 44, right? So this is, you know, getting up there. All that cat stuff goes to Instagram and Snapchat and those other chat things, TikTok or whatever they're called, <laughs> right? Okay, that's it for today. I hope you have a fantastic one. Monday, get out there and make it happen. Um, you know, buddy of mine, Brian Hess says, don't go out like a lamb on Fridays, go out like a lion. Well, come in on Mondays, like a lion, you're going to crush it. I know Michael, you're over there in Vietnam, so you're probably in bed or it's probably later than that, isn't it? You're probably, what are you doing up so late? <laughs> One of those long nights again, huh? No. <laughs> all right, brother, you take care of yourself. Everybody else take care of yourself and we'll see you next time. Remember, it's all about quality of life.